Yes. Yeah, this is Forbidden Art. We're interviewing Coke 2, Master Blaster Bomber, Small City Man. Coke, when did you first start writing? I started writing. Well, I started writing, like, ch checking out the graph scene, like, in uh, 79. And um, a lot of writers back then influenced me and shit, from, like, the four trains. I was really watching the four trains. Back in the day, you were infamous for being king of the fours, man. How'd you feel about that? What, what do you feel when you see somebody writing king on their throne and you know they're not really king? Well, I, 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 I'm not one of those souped up kings, you know what I'm saying? I just like, uh, I write king because, you know, like right now, I figure I'm the king of throw-ups right now. You know, not king of all graffiti. I'm like the king of throw-ups right now. So that's why I've always been putting king in my C's and my throw-ups and like, I started writing King when I took over the fours and the five and I took over the five and the twos with throw-ups. And they came white trains, I destroyed them shit. Me and my old partner Cone from TNF, the original Cone. And then uh, I took over the fours and shit like right after uh Van Two left the left the fours. I had a little competition on the fours with like uh Sharp and Delta and Spin. There was they I think Spin took over the fours too, Delta and Sharp. And it was like a, a, a battle for the fours, but I came on top at the end. And I had the, the line into until it went down to the new transformer. How do you feel about the art back then and the art today? Uh, what are the comparisons? Comparisons? There's really none. Except for now, it's like the writers are like getting more into detailing in their pieces. They want to get more wild now. Back then, it's, I think, you know, if it wasn't for the writers back then, the graffiti back then we wouldn't be where we are now. You know, because the writers back then are the ones who really started this and influenced the writers now. Um, what, what do you plan to do with yourself? Are you, do you, do you expect to take craft seriously by, as a career or, or are you just going to take it as a part-time hobby? I'm not going to be stealing pain and writing graffiti for the rest of my life now. You know, I'm gonna, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna come back here and then. You know, for a lot of writers figure I never really stop. I've been smashing shit for like so many years. And like, graffiti sometimes gets a pain in the ass because when you get up so much, people think you're souped up or you got an ego. Then they start crossing you out. They start writing phony names. And, and then when you see them, they, you know, they don't want to do nothing. This is, graffiti is like really a pain in the ass hobby sometimes because you got a lot of bullshit jealous writers out there that just get jealous of you, they envy you. All right, Coach, this is Forbidden Art. We want to thank you for the interview. And um, if you got any shout outs to sell out to any, to send out to any people, you know, this is the time for it. Me and your boys. Now, I got some shout outs I'd like to all. Uh, you could say, um, Myself especially, because don't get me wrong, I ain't trying to be souped up or nothing, but I'm going to give a big shout out for me, because I've been around for a long time, and I'm going to stay here and wreck shit, and I'm going to keep wrecking shit. All you writers out there who want beef, bring it on. You know, I have war, whatever you want to take it, to the, to the highways, to the walls, to the streets, to the fucking trains, whatever. 